Jerry White's retirement from education is one that is filled with activities from his enjoyment with music to his fascination with linear art. Like many senior citizens, Jerry strives to include things in his life that create satisfaction and value, and he thinks he's found the ticket. When he's not plucking away at his banjo, he's searing lines into wood. I started doing this pyrography. It took a couple of years before I really got my teeth into it. Oh, I've spent three months on a piece, just letting them sometimes just sit on my desk. With pyrography, you pick up your tool and your, your wood and you go to work, and that's just all there is to it. I like them just for themselves. It, it's, you know, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but uh, I don't sell much of my stuff. I have, I have sold some, but every time I sell one, <laughs> it hurts a little. <laughs> They're like my kids or something, you know, I, I really get attached to them. With little art training and no training whatsoever in pyrography, Jerry picked up the wood-burning pen in around 2004 and has been at it regularly nearly every evening while he listens to All Things Considered on National Public Radio. You never do this for very long at a time. If you do, you get fatigued, you get tired, you start making mistakes. So it's, a, it's an hour, hour and a half in the evening is what you do. And it works out pretty good because I can kind of follow the news. You don't really have to watch the news. You sit there and watch your pyrography. For his inspiration in patterns, Jerry usually chooses images from his collection of electronic clip art books. The aspect of art that really fires me up is, is what they call the tracery. If it's art that has lines that are intersecting or have a, some interesting aspect, that excites me. The, this pyrography fires me up because it's all about lines. There's something in my brain that really fires up with all these lines. Virtually 99.9% .9 of the time, I take the image, size it to what I want, and then I trace it using graphite paper between the paper and the wood, as much detail as I can muster. And then I take a tip and I go around all those lines. Once I get that all done, then I can start to, to really put some creativity into it. And uh, then I switch tips, put a shading tip in, and then I start shading. Cutting, shading, stippling. By using these basic techniques and embellishing with color, Jerry is able to create unique pieces of art that satisfy his yearning to create and his sensibilities for enjoyment in doing what he loves to do. I like to do artwork from other cultures. I have an Egyptian piece and I have from different cultures. My son, years ago, 20, 25 years ago, was over in Europe and uh, as a gift when he came home for me, he had done a rubbing, which is where you take a piece of paper and you rub on this raised image and you can get the copy of that image on the paper. And, and it was of a knight and he brought that home and it's hung on my wall for 25 years. And so I did a pyrography of that. I get ideas from all kinds of different places. And these are duplicates of one that I did this one, the image is pretty well done. The peacock is painted, the cliff that it's on is painted. I've got a border on it, it's ready for framing. Uh, this one is still in the process of being done and you can see that pretty much everything except just the bird itself, the upper part of the bird itself is done. And I'm using some metallic paints. Just got a real glittery brightness to it. And the trick is try to get that white to come through those glitters. If I don't get it just right, it's not going to compete very well, and it won't, uh, the, be the picture won't have good balance or composition. It's, uh, it's kind of an offbeat uh, art form in, in a lot of ways. It's not, it's not like oil painting or water painting for sure. But there's technique to watercolor, and there's technique to oil too, so uh, it's just something you develop. And I suppose because it isn't common, a lot of people don't pick it up. There's no, nobody out there, not many people out there teaching it like other areas. But it sure fits me. I, I get a lot of satisfaction out of it.
If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television. Thank mm-hmm. you.